welcome back to the Midterm Rental Mastery Show. My name is Tanisha Epps, and I am a real estate investor based out of Richmond, Virginia. And today I want to talk to you more so about something that's not necessarily related to real estate, but we'll tie some things in here. And what I want to share is some things that I learned from a trip that I was voted to go on recently. And today we're going to talk about mindset, impact, and purpose. And these things all relate to not only your personal life, but also into your business. So a little bit of background. So many of you may know that I am in the greatest community on planet Earth, and it's called Sub2 with my brother Pace Morby. And the Sub2 community voted for me to take Pace's place at an event with the Tim Tebow Foundation um, the week of May, well, whatever it was, it was May 2023 last week, whenever this video gets posted. And the person who won today is one of my favorite human beings on planet Earth, Tanisha Epps. <laughs> Tanisha Epps. She is a, such a special human being. Now, I know she doesn't play golf, but she gets to hang out with all these amazing people. She gets to be around Chris Crone for two days, Ed Milet for two days handful of uh, our other friends that are all making five, 10, $15 million a year take home or more. Ed Milet makes way more than that. But you're gonna be around people that are making big moves in their lives. And just being around that energy, I think will be uh, life-changing. So uh, Tanisha, I will reach out to you. Jamil will reach out to you, Mahmood, and get you guys where you need to go. If you guys are in Sub2, please go into the Sub2 Facebook group and give her some love in the comments and just say, congratulations. And if you have her cell phone number, text her. A lot of people have her cell phone number because yeah. she's so selfless. Um, I went because Pace was on his book tour. So shout out to Pace's book. It's called Wealth Without Cash. It is on the Wall Street Journal's top list at this point. So if you have not purchased the book, please go support my brother Pace with his new book. So Pace was on a book tour. And so he could not go on this trip where he and Jamil Damji both donated money to the Tim Tebow Foundation to support uh, the efforts that that foundation is doing, which are absolutely phenomenal, by the way. So if you don't know anything about the Tim Tebow Foundation, you really need to go look up that foundation and see the work that they're doing. It's really, really phenomenal. So what I hear about this, um, by the way, I missed the announcement because I was on the phone with um, an enrollment coach from the Sub2 mentorship, literally asking him to thank the person that brought me into the group because it was really the catalyst for a lot of change in my personal life and also in my business. So I missed the entire announcement that um, I got voted for this. So I hear about it, you know, after the fact. So Pace cannot go on this trip. Now, what I hear about this trip is you get to go on a private jet with Ed Milet. Now, if you guys don't know who Ed Milet is, you've probably been living under a rock, but you should go look him up too. Super, super guy, motivational speaker. He's got plenty of books. He's got a podcast. Go check it out. So this is all I know about this, um, this trip. And so I have to fly from Virginia to Provo, Utah. Well, I have to fly to Salt Lake, Utah where I get picked up by another sub two student. Isn't this amazing having a community and a family? So he picks me up from the airport and then the next day takes me to Provo where I have to go catch this private jet. The jet was like phenomenal. So I have the honor of um, going on this trip with Mahmoud Issa, who is in another mentorship. And so I was really, really nervous. My mindset at this point is, and again, the only person I know right now that's going to be on this trip is Ed Milet. That's all I know. And then, of course, Tim Debo will be there because it's his foundation once we get to Florida. I am so freaked out because although, you know, I'm building the momentum in my own space and really coming out of my past introversion, uh, I still slightly consider myself a little bit of an introvert, but not nearly as much as I used to be. It's kind of the extroverted introvert now. So I'm nervous because I don't know what to expect being around these multi, multi-millionaires who have multiple businesses, who have foundations, who 
they do so much good work in the world, but I really am like, am I supposed to be here? I really thought that to myself. And so I get on this plane and who walks on the plane? Chris Crone. Now I'm instantly like freaked out. Like, oh my gosh. So Chris Crone is on the plane and Scott Donald's on the plane. Um, He is another guy you really should follow. He has a book called Value Creation Kid. And I'm telling you, that guy's going to shake up the world. And I can't wait to see it. But we get on this plane and Mahmood and I are kind of looking at each other and looking around because I don't know that either one of us knew that Chris Crone was going to be on this plane. And, you know, probably within the first 10 minutes, my nerves really subsided because what I was able to see is there are people just like me, just like you, they're people. And the more you allow yourself to be yourself, the easier it is for them to get to know you and for you to feel comfortable. And so I'm literally texting Pace because we have Wi-Fi on this private jet. I'm texting Pace and I'm like, I don't know how to do anything but be myself. And he's like, that's all I know how to do too. And so he said, just be yourself, you'll be fine. And he was so right. So we have this amazing like talk and breakthrough session and talking about personal things and business and just family and life. And my nerves really subsided a lot. So by the time we get to Dallas, which was our next stop because we had to pick up some more people, the next people that get on the plane is Pete Vargas, Teresa Todd, who is the founder of the Women's Real Estate Investor Network. And um, I am Boss Lee, Jesse Lee Ward. Now, I did not know who she was before the weekend or the week that we spent, but man, that woman, inspirational. And so I'm sitting on this plane and I'm telling, you know, talking to people, they ask what you do. And um, my new friend, Amy, is on the plane and she asks what I do. And I say, I do temporary housing. I um, help people find homes and they stay with me for 30 plus days, just depending on their situation. It may be um, travel medical professionals displaced from, you know, insurance claims. It could be military, anything of that sort. And she tells me about the people that she works with and a light bulb clip for me because they're on my list of client avatars. And so just from having a communication with people on the plane and just talking, I now have a new partner that's going to help me build my business and I'm going to help her solve some problems in hers. It's, it's really, really exciting to see the opportunity. So we get to Florida. Okay. So we get off the plane. We go to this beautiful hotel in Ponte Vedra. I'm totally going to mess that up. So it's in Ponte Vedra, Florida. So we get on, um, get to the hotel, beautiful waterfront place. And I'm still like, oh my gosh, I cannot believe that I'm here. And all I really want to do is make sure that I represent Pace well, because he's the reason that I'm here. So we go to dinner and Tim Tebow is at the dinner and there are about 15 of us total. And I just have the opportunity to really get to know people and hear about the impact that they're making on the world. So I talked to you about my mindset. My mindset was all over the place because I was so, so nervous um, that I didn't know if I belonged. But as I'm hearing the mindset work that all of these great people have done, and I'm hearing the impact that they're making on the world, I'm seeing so much more about why purpose in what you do matters. It matters so much. Because even in this business for midterm rentals, every single person that I interact with is a client for me. They are a person that I'm trying to create a solution for. And that is my purpose. It's great to say that you make great money doing midterm rentals or temporary housing, whatever you want to call it. But it's only as good as the service you provide. And I hope that you all see that as a theme that I speak about during uh, my videos. And so we're talking to Tim and we're talking to each other and it is phenomenal. We have like a bonfire after and it was so, so cool. Now me and my little mindset again, okay? Me and my mindset, they asked us if we wanted to play pickleball. 
I didn't even know what pickleball was. And at first I said no. And then they said, hey, we're going to go play golf. I don't know how to play golf. Now, I do know how to score because my aunt and uncle are avid golf fans. So I do know that part. So they say, do you want to play golf? Immediately, my fear tells me, nope, go to the spa. And then I hear my mindset coach in the back of my mind. And I hear peace and I hear my fiance and I hear all these things about get comfortable being uncomfortable. And so I agree to play pickleball. I don't know what I was thinking, but man, it was so much fun. Okay. So if you've never heard of pickleball, you should really go look it up. It's like tennis, but not tennis. My first time ever playing, who do I get paired up with? Tim Tebow as my partner. Okay. This was like insane. And I'm telling Tim, I've never played pickleball before. I don't know what I'm doing. And he's like, oh, I got you. This is great. I'm going to tell you everything to do. Good job, Timmy. Nice. Yeah, let's go. Come on, <laughs> oh, God. Do you know we ended up winning the championship against Ed Milet? Oh my gosh, it was so, so much fun. Um, man, so I go from in my mindset, I don't belong here. Then my mindset said, do not agree to play this game that you've never played before, that you've never even heard of with these very high level people. And I just tell myself to do it anyway. And then I don't go to the spa. I go to the golf course. Now, I don't play golf. It's a TPC Sawgrass that we went to. Beautiful, beautiful course. And we end up in the golf cart with well, me. I end up in the golf cart with Jesse Lee Ward. And I get to talk to this woman. And I'm just... Again, I'm so inspired by her. I really hope that she gets to see this video at some point. I'll probably send it to her. Um, it's just just phenomenal. Phenomenal just being around the energy of people that have the right mindset, but know they still work through their own mindset things, and they're making an impact with purpose. It's just like, it's firing me up. It's energy. It's life. It's a reminder of why we do what we do, whether it's in business or your life with your family etc. So I'm driving the golf cart because I did not play. I did hit one or two though, but um, I'm driving the golf cart. I'm taking a lot of pictures around this beautiful golf course. And John Gordon is there, another motivational speaker. John Gordon's there and he didn't play either. So I get to talk to him in between um, everybody hitting shots. Super, super awesome. He gave me this book called Relationship Grit. I'm reading that one plus his book, The Energy Bus. So I got, I came home with like probably 15 books, stacks and stacks of books. And I even got one signed by Tim Tebow. So here I had to reach over and get it. So here's my book signed by Tim Tebow. Super, super cool. And then he signed one for my fiance too. But man, I just, the, again, the impact and the experience of this trip I am so, so grateful that um, I was chosen by the sub two community and that, you know, no offense that Pace couldn't go on the trip because he was on the book tour. I love my brother. So it's OK for me to say that. And we just talked about this last night. So the thing that I want to make sure that I say to all of you is your network is so valuable. Don't be afraid to connect with people that you think you're not on their level, because let me tell you. Like these people want to share with you. They want to pour into you. They want to have impact. They want to have purpose. And you are that purpose. You are that impact. And even if it costs you money for their time, value their time because you value your time and you value the experience that they can bring to you. And I mean, I just have to say like, I... I just, I don't know the best words to explain my experience. I mean, maybe this trophy that I have right here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but here, let me. Pickleball champion right here with my partner, Tim Tebow. These things are going to, going to continue to inspire me every day to bring more value to you, to bring more value to my clients, to every single person that I work with. I mean, I've already got five housing requests 
already this week that I'm working on, literally from just continuing to take action, to connect with people, to really open my mind and not be afraid to step into my purpose and greatness. And that's what I want for all of you. And so I would like to close out the video today as a reminder, be around people who live with purpose. Because if you can do that, it will continue to drive you more into your purpose. And with purpose, there will be profit. And that profit is an obligation for us to provide more impact in the world. That is my mission. I hope that will be your mission. And we all have a place. We all have a place. And if you haven't found it yet, you will. So that being said, I'm going to close out today's video. I'm so grateful for the opportunity to continue to provide value to all of you. Check out the links in my bio or description or whatever it's called here on YouTube. I have um, consultations that I schedule with people to give information and um, I'm about to start a coaching program, uh, but right now I'm just doing consultations for people in the midterm space. I've got some resources that you can connect to build your business. I've got additional ones coming. I just um, got a sponsorship with uh, Steadily. So they um, provide landlord insurance. They provide insurance for short-term rentals, for arbitrage, if you're doing that. So check out the link in my bio and just give them a call and see how they can help you. And again, please leave comments. I respond to all of them and I just, I'm so, so, so grateful for the opportunity to share with all of you. And if anybody was wondering, this is my hair. I know usually I'm in like straight mode, but this is my curly mode and I'm rocking my life today. So um, until next time on the Midterm Rental Mastery Show, I will see you soon. Thanks for tuning in.